What's up, guys? Welcome back to my podcast and YouTube channel. In this episode, I want to talk about securing your job site if a hurricane is coming. So um, here in South Florida, since we do get a lot of hurricanes, usually once every year, um, or at least a tropical storm, you need to prepare your job site. And um, this is something that I've been dealing with all the time. So um, one of the main things is when you are doing a new house, and you have equipment like um, scaffolding for the stucco guys around the property, you need to take them down, you know, and it sucks because you spend all this time building it up and then because the hurricane's coming, you gotta take it down. So uh, it's happened to me various times, I've had to take them down. Usually, um, you know, you, you should be looking at if there's any hurricanes coming through so you know if you have enough time to finish the job or not. But, you know, unfortunately, sometimes we're not paying attention and we've gotten hit with that, uh, having to take it down and then put it back up. And, you know, we take a loss because we don't, we can't charge that to the client or to the owner because, uh, you know, it was our fault. Um, secondly is if you have any loose materials, usually you are advised to take them out of the property and either into your warehouse or storage or somewhere else, you know, because these are going to become projectiles and just shoot into someone else's property and then you're going to end up getting sued for that um another thing is if you have any dumpsters on sites you should uh remove them you know remove them from the site because anything that's in that dumpster it's also going to be a projectile so usually we call the dumpster company to remove any dumpsters on site you know if the dumpster is empty well and you can leave it but even if it has a little bit of debris, you have to take it, even if it's halfway. And you know, the dumpster companies know that and they start running like crazy, you know, having to take out all the dumpsters from all the job sites. So, uh, you know, you should call them with time because if you're the last one, you might get stuck with that dumpster out there in your job site and you will get a fine if the building department sees it. Um, another thing is you gotta secure things. Like if you have a fence, a temporary fence and it's not, properly installed you got to secure it to make sure that fence doesn't get ripped off and thrown away so um you know these are the couple of things that you guys have to think about as a general contractor when hurricanes come through you know securing your job site is very important you know um sometimes i've had to put up plywood on these uh shell like there's just a shell of the of the property is is there but we need to cover the windows because there'll be maybe like some framing or some um, you know, they might have like materials or like other items that the owner has bought or purchased and they just have it inside the property and we have to board it up so that it doesn't get, uh, you know, thrown away. Um, you know, sometimes there's also a lot of trades like the plumber, the electricians, mechanical contractors that have all their equipment in there and, you know, they might not have enough time to take it out. So, we might have to board up the property and I've done it a couple of times, you know, so uh, these are all things that you guys have to consider and take into uh, account. Um, you know, the, this is not going to be shown in any set of plans. That's why experience is important and, you know, always plan for these type of situations, especially when you're doing a, a brand new house. It usually takes about a year, you know, to do it unless you're, you're, you're doing it with a, a special type of permit that you can inspect it with a, your own inspector. Then you can finish the property, you know, in like three or four months, five months. But uh, if you're doing a regular house with regular inspections, then you're going to have to be there probably, probably for a year. And within that year, you, you might experience some type of hurricane uh, situations or tropical storms. So always plan for that. Take it into account. And uh, thank you guys for listening. Take care and have a great day.